Okay, I have included this presentation on the, in the information for day eight that will come around to you in the folders. I'm not going to go through this entire presentation. I'm just gonna go to the sweet spot to show you how to do the taxon name reconciliation. The, the whole thing is given in here. Do, 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 do. It's talking about how to use refine. This is how to do the georeferencing with geolocate. So now we're into a new topic. And the new topic is reconciliation. The other one was called, I called it fetching. We're fetching by a URL. This is slightly different. It's called reconciliation. And the example that's in here and the one that I recommend to you to use is called the name validation or tax refine that was set up by a student at the University of Colorado. So this gives a recipe for how to do it. I'm not gonna dwell on the details, but get to the, the part that's important for you. But it basically consists of taking your scientific name column, the one that we're going to search on, and create a new column to work on. We need a copy of it, because the reconciliation is going to do something to our data. So keep the original, make a copy to do reconciliation on. Then in the menus, for the f you click on your new column. This is the resolve scientific name column that was just created. The bottom menu item is called reconcile. And the first option there is called start reconciling. So this is going to open a dialog box, which is simplified here. And the dialog box is how to do the uh, reconciliation. Let me switch over to Alex's data and show you what that looks like. So here is the full name. That's where the scientific name is. Click on Start Recording. And you get a dialog box that allows you to pick the service or extension from a list over there that you want to run on your data, on the scientific name or the copy of scientific name field. So when Refine comes to you at the very beginning, there are two services already in there. And they're both related to Freebase, which is access to free and open databases about all kinds of different things. You'll have to look in Freebase to see if there's anything of interest to you. But there are things like country names, standard country names, and so on. So check those out. This one is one that I added. And the, the part of the presentation in the middle here is how that was done. So this is a, a very short version of the screen that I'm on right now, in which you click on Add Standard Service, and then you enter the URL for that service. And the URL will be here, obviously, in this presentation. So it's a, a URL for a service that was created by this student. And what it does is take scientific names and try to figure out what they should be. So once I've added a service, I've already done it. So I, in, last night, added a standard service, and it is this one the taxon name one. So it's already on my list. And now I can select that service. So that's the one I want to use. And then if you have your internet connection, Refine goes and looks at the service and says, what do I need to tell you in order for you to give me a service? And the answer is you need to provide the field that you want to have this service determine the name for. 
So these are all just fields in Alex's database, and somewhere there's a full name field. Actually, that's not what I want anyway. I don't want to I don't want to reconcile the original full name field. I want to reconcile the copy that I just made. So I need to select the field that I created in my database for that purpose. So reconciled full name has my scientific names in it now, and that's what I would like to send to the service to be reconciled, just that field. The rest don't do anything with it, then click on Start Reconciling. I'm not going to do that right now because I did it last night. And if I do it right now, I will be doing it on an already reconciled field and it won't work. So I'm going to bypass the calling the web service and just show you what happened. So this is my reconciled full name field after the reconciliation occurred. And you can see it doesn't look like the other fields. It's got some interesting, strange stuff in it. It's got a single checkbox, a double checkbox, and a create new topic in every cell. So the first three just have that much. Let me scroll down a little bit. Now we're getting into some records where the service returned multiple possibilities. See all these? Every set of check marks is a possibility that came from the service. So now I'm able to look at that and if I'm a taxonomic expert, I should know which of these is the one that I should choose. I do need to have that expertise. And when I do choose one, I can choose, for example, for this record, to use the name that came from this source called Planti, or I can use the name that came from the source called life. I need to know who they are and whether they're trustworthy. But I look in the details and find out. The other thing, important piece of information here is that the number in parentheses after it is how many different authorities this name is found in, in the source data, a GBIF. So the first version is found in five different taxonomic authorities, whereas the second version is found in only one. That might be an indicator that this is the correct one. It's certainly an indicator that it's the most commonly conceived to be correct one. So I will go right now with the rule that that's the one I want. And I have two choices. I can select the single checkbox, and that will change this record and choose that value. Or the, the label says match this topic to this cell. The double check mark option says match this topic to this and all identical cells. So every one of those that has the same scientific name can be reconciled automatically by checking the double check box. So that's what I want to do. I want to reconcile them all. So there, it's done. And now we're in the list. This is the one that I just fixed. That's the top of my list. Let me scroll down to it again. So you notice that there are no check marks anymore at all in this field. It's already been reconciled. I can undo it. I can say choose a new match and that will undo my reconciliation. But right now I consider that one to be fixed and done. And notice that it doesn't match the original. The format of the name is different. So that's how name reconciliation is done using external web services. 
the formulas and the website that you need to connect to and the presentation that describes exactly how to do it are all going to be in the folder that you get. So don't panic. Any questions about it? <coughs> I hope that sufficiently gets you excited about Refine more than just editing cells and clustering, all that boring stuff. And that you'll now use it as your data cleaning tool of choice. Okay, you can stop this one then.